Once upon a time in a city, a young boy named Bogies was like any other modern-day boy faced with the challenges and distractions of the modern age. Despite the difficulties and diversions of the digital age, he found himself enmeshed in an unhealthy habit, compulsive masturbation. Bogies yearned for calm, clarity, and a sense of direction, and he knew deep down that this habit did not align with his ideals and objectives. He came across a little, tranquil, Zen master garden one day while strolling around the city. Intrigued, he went inside. As he was strolling through the garden, he saw an elderly Zen teacher named Teacher Asri sitting under a cherry tree. While strolling through the garden, he spotted an elderly Zen master named Master Asri sitting beneath a cherry blossom tree. Bogies decided to ask the master for advice, so he addressed Asri in a respectful manner and said, Asri, I'm struggling with a habit that's taking up all of my thoughts and energy. I want to stop the habit of masturbation, but I'm finding it incredibly difficult. Please guide, please guide me. Bogies was invited to sit next to Master Asri by his daughter as she grinned warmly and said, My dear boy, the path to overcoming any habit lies in the depths of your own being. According to Zen Master, in order to overcome this challenge, you must develop self-awareness and inner power. As the master began to tell a Zen narrative, Candle listened intently. Candle listened intently as the master started to tell a Zen story about a young fisherman named Takio who smoked a pipe while he fished. Takio thought the pipe helped him focus and became more skilled, but the smoke distracted him and frequently caused him to miss the ripples on the water's surface and the signals of the fish below. One day, a wise old fisherman visited the village and noticed Takio's habit. He approached Takio and explained his problem. Takio was shocked and the little one was ripped out of his hands and thrown into the river, but what about my focus, he mumbled. Drop the pipe and you'll find a fresh clarity and skill since true mastery doesn't come from using external aids but from being fully present and tuned in to the environment around you. Takio has taken the old fisherman's advice to heart and has stopped smoking since that day. At first, he felt empty and as he embraced the present moment, he started to notice the subtle movements of the fish and the nuances of the river. With time and practice, he improved his fishing skills beyond what he had previously been able to do. He to get ingrained in Balchi's memory. My dear kid, he said, your excessive masturbation habit is a crutch that prevents you from reaching your full potential. By breaking this habit, you give yourself the chance to rediscover your clarity and innate purpose. Bogies had a glimmer of hope, he realized that giving up the habit of masturbating wasn't about repressing or feeling guilty, but about embracing a more authentic way of life. With the help of Asri Master, Bogies set out on a journey of self-discovery and self-discipline, he learned to redirect his energy and focus on activities that nourished his mind, body, and spirit, he developed new hobbies. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, and little by little, Bogies noticed a profound transformation taking place within him. The hold of habit was releasing, and he felt a growing sense of inner peace and fulfillment. One evening, as Bogies sat by the cherry blossom tree with Asri Master, he couldn't contain his gratitude. He said to Asri, I am eternally indebted to you. Master Asri smiled his eyes sparkled with satisfaction My dear bogies you have the courage to face your problems and the determination to seek a better way of life Don't forget that true mastery is a lifelong journey and every step you take towards self-improvement is a step towards realizing your full potential From that day on bogies continued on the path of self-discovery drawing strength from Master Asri's teachings And the lessons he learned from Zen Master From that day on Bogies continued on the path of self-discovery, drawing strength from Master Zen's teachings and the lessons he learned along the way with each passing day, his inner coin grew stronger and his purpose became clearer Bogie's story reminds us, that liberation from habits requires self-awareness we transcend our limitations and embark on a journey of self-improvement. And then each of us finds the courage to face our own challenges, let go of what no longer serves us, and discover. The limitless potential that lies within us thank you for watching and stay blessed.